Marla Rickman. I'm at work for Managed by Agriculture. I am the soil management specialist for the province. We are here today to talk about soil compaction and soil compaction has been a big issue in the last couple of years because we've had a lot of moist soil conditions and when our soils are moist or near field capacity that's when we're at the highest risk of soil compaction. Sometimes compaction is things you can tell for yourself. Sometimes it's as simple as seeing a wheel track in the field and understanding if you see poor emergence coming up in that wheel track or a stunted crop compared to the rest of the field that might be quite simple. Sometimes we see it from kind of more of an aerial view of the field. You can see wheel tracks across the field. Uh, you'll have lighter, more nutrient deficient crop compared to the rest of it. So it can be very obvious and it can be very subtle sometimes too. Lots of times you go and you actually dig up and look at the roots. So if you suspect you've got a compaction problem, get out with a shovel, dig up that, that plant, uh, take a look at the roots. Are they growing down where they should be? Are they growing straight out? They've hit a, like a plow layer or a compacted layer. If you're interested in doing things like tillage or doing things like subsoiling, which a lot of people are interested in, I've often suggested splitting the field up in strips or at least in half and do half the field, leave the other half untouched and farm as you normally would and then go in with your yield monitor afterwards and see if there was a difference. And the other thing with subsoiling is if it's wet and it might look dry at the soil surface, but, but if it's wet below, don't attempt to subsoil because you're just going to create more problems. It needs to be dry in order to pull iron through the field appropriately without causing more compaction in the first place.